Minister and reads, is he prepared to ask the Auditor General to inquire further into the overseas travel of former Minister Pansy Wong? The Honourable Jerry Brown, on behalf of the uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, no. As I've stated previously, if anyone has evidence that they believe has not been looked at, then they should refer it to the Speaker or the Auditor General for further investigation. The Honourable Pete Hodson. In light of the Campbell Live investigation aired last night, which found evidence that in June 2008, Sammy Wong took a taxpayer subsidised trip to China, which included business activity, is it government policy to attempt to recover taxpayers' money from people who have spent that money wrongly? Before I invite the Minister to answer that, I, I do point out that uh, the Minister is not responsible for a matter to do with part of the parliamentary service. Uh, any travel by Sammy Wong is a matter for the Speaker, uh, and uh, the Speaker certainly can be questioned on the matter if the member wants to put a question down in writing to the, uh, to the Speaker. But the, uh, but the Minister, uh, the Prime Minister, is not responsible for, uh, for travel under, uh, under the Speaker's directions funded by parliamentary service. Point of order, the Honourable uh, Mr Speaker, I think the question was very deliberately worded in a way that it went to the overall responsibility uh, of the government uh, to recover Crown funds which appear to have been stolen. Order. Um, order. The member must not allege that sort of thing in the House here. That is, that's not fair to use parliamentary privilege in that way. It's not fair to uh, treat uh, New Zealand citizens in that way. Um, I, point of order, I'll hear the Well, well Mr now. Speaker, I think there is a, a real matter of fairness here. I, I, and again, I don't know if you saw the television programme last night, but it, it did show dated order. photos order. of order. Sammy Wong. Order. The member will resume his seat immediately. <laughs> Labour has certainly just lost a supplementary question. Any repeat of that, the, the shadow leader of the House will be leaving the chamber. When I get to my feet, he will resume his, and I make that absolutely clear. He will not use the point of order procedure to try and make allegations against another New Zealander. It's irrelevant whether the Speaker saw some television programme last night. Totally irrelevant. And the Member will not abuse this House in that way. The Member's better than that. Now, <laughs> the Member will resume his seat. I'm still on my feet. Order. That's enough. Now, I, um, I've been giving thought to the issue of the, of the budgetary uh, considerations of the, of the government, and while, the, uh, you know, again, the Speaker is responsible for the, the budget of parliamentary services, I, if, if, the min, if the Minister wishes to, make any, to answer that part of the question in terms of the government's overall uh, budgetary responsibility, I, I'm happy, if the, but if the Minister feels it is not... Uh, the Prime Minister's responsibility, that is certainly a perfectly fair response, but I don't want to, I don't want to prevent the Minister. The Minister is making it clear that he does not consider that as appropriate, and, and that's where the Speaker must leave it. The Honourable Pete Hodson, point of order. Mr Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker um, may I put it to you that if I were to ask a question which read, is it government policy to attempt to recover taxpayers' money from people who have spent that money wrongly, if, those, if that was the question, could you tell me now whether or not that question would be in order? Well, order, the Speaker shouldn't be uh, um, you know, answering that kind of question, although I, I sympathise with, with the member in, in that he wants to be able to ask questions that are in order on this particular issue. And, of course, normally uh, when members are questioning ministers about their budgets, they're asking them specifically about uh, matters to do with the budgets they're responsible for, and, of course, that is correct. A minister could be questioned in that way. The dilemma with this particular question is the, the minister, in inverted commas, responsible for that budget is the speaker. And there is a procedure for questioning the speaker. The member is perfectly at liberty to put down a question for written answer to the speaker. And I can assure you, the member, the speaker, will, will answer it. Uh, and uh, that's the, the difficulty I have in, in, uh, with, this, with questions of that nature, because it is absolutely clear that the Prime, the Prime Minister is not responsible for... Uh, uh, Sammy Wong's travel is not responsible for the Speaker's budget, 
of budget that the Speaker is responsible for, and that's the dilemma I have with this line of questioning. The Honourable Trevor Mallard, point of uh, order. Mr Speaker, and, and, uh, I know you're relatively unhappy with me at the moment, but I ask you to consider um, this question again. Uh, and, sir, I think you are responsible for the appropriation. Mr Speaker, you are responsible for the expenditure. You are not, I think, responsible for the revenue of the Crown. That is a responsibility of the government led by the Prime Minister. The, dif the difficulty I have, I accept the member's uh, point of order is a point of order made in good faith, and uh, the dilemma I have, I've put it to the Minister whether the Minister answering behalf of the Prime Minister believes there is ministerial responsibility for the question put to him, and the Minister has indicated to me that he does not believe there is ministerial responsibility for that question as put to him. And I can't, I can't argue that with a, with a Minister. The Minister is a better judge of that than I am. Uh, all I can say is that the matters relating to travel by members of this House that are not Ministers are the responsibility of the Speaker. And that's the difficulty we have on this question. And, uh, and the Minister has indicated that he does not believe that uh, the, the Prime Minister is, uh, responsible, is answerable for that matter in this House, and I can't, and I can't dispute that. Uh, supplementary question. The Honourable How much Hudson. does he think Mr and Mrs Wong need to pay back? Uh, the Honourable Chair Brown. Uh, uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, I have no knowledge that they need to pay back anything, and I would suggest to the Minister, to the Member, that if he has any evidence that has not been considered so far, uh, then he needs to make it available to either the Auditor General or the Speaker in order that that evidence could be considered. The Hon. Pete yeah. Hodson. How can the Minister tell the House, the Prime Minister tell the House, that in his view the answer to the question about how much needs to be paid back is zero, when documentary proof of a further rort was, it was aired on television just last night? In so far as the Minister is responsible, the Hon. Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I didn't see Campbell live last night, uh, and uh, as for myself, I seldom watch it. But what I would say is this, that if there is further evidence that uh, needs to be uh, considered, the member should make it available to either the Speaker or the Auditor General. The Hon. Peter Mr. Speaker, noting that Mr Wong reportedly told Mr MacPhail that he went to Shanghai in June 2008 to visit friends when he actually went to Liang Yonggong to put a hovercraft deal together, does he now think that the MacPhail report is order, flawed? Order. That question is totally out of order. Because that is, and uh, the Minister knows he shouldn't actually have asked that question because he knows it's out of order. He was using the question opportunity to try and make a score a political point. And that is not appropriate use of question time in this House, especially by an experienced member. We come now to uh, questions to members. Questions one, two and three.